To crop a video in Premiere Pro, there is many ways that you can do this, but the best way is definitely to go to the effects and you want to search for a crop transform effect. It'll be this one right here and you want to apply it onto your video. Now, once you've got yourself this effect, if you scroll down, you will have the options to change the left, top, right and bottom. So depending on your preference and depending on what you're looking for, you can either crop it from the left side by increasing the slider. You can even match this one to the right side as well. So then you have this vertical looking video. You can do it for the top and the bottom. And the great thing about this is that you can be very specific with your crop. So if you wanted a perfectly even crop, you would set all of these to the exact same number. And as you can see, we now have this perfectly even crop. If you wanted to, you can also select the crop effect and this will give you the options to be able to move this anywhere on your video. So if you wanted to focus on your laptop or if you wanted to focus on the subject, you can move it anywhere within your canvas. Now you're probably wondering what exactly can we do about this empty area or this empty space? What you can do with this space or area is you can toggle the zoom button, which will then zoom this back in. And now it has put it back onto the canvas. So when you render it out and upload it to YouTube, you won't have any black borders whatsoever. Now, the only downside to this is that if you zoom in and you have one odd number, so let's say for example, that your right was 50% and then you clicked on zoom, it will end up stretching your video in order for it to fit the canvas. So you just want to make sure before you zoom that you have a perfectly even crop, otherwise it's going to look stretched and this will ruin the quality of your video. Now, another great thing about this is if you wanted to be very accurate with this and you wanted a grid, what you can do is you can go back onto your project. You can get yourself an adjustment layer and apply this one above your video. What we're going to do is we're going to search for an effect called grid in the effects. And you want to apply this one onto your adjustment layer. And this will give you this perfectly even grid onto your canvas. What we need to do is we need to scroll down and also set the blending mode to normal. And this will overlap it onto your video. So you can now use this grid to match your video onto the actual lines itself. So let's say, for example, we wanted to stick it to this one and we want it to have a two column gap, we would just change the left side and set this one to, let's say, 20. Same goes for the right side as well. And there we go. We now have this cropped video onto the grid. If you wanted your videos, let's say, to be uploaded for YouTube or TikTok or YouTube Shorts, what you will need to do is you will need to change the overall sequence because at this moment, this is still 4K, which is 3840 times 2160. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and delete the crop and also hide the adjustment layer. To change the overall resolution and to crop this video down, we have to go to a sequence, go down to sequence settings. And if you wanted to upload this, let's say to Instagram, then you would set it to 1080 times 1080. This is the one by one resolution for a square video. If you wanted a vertical video for YouTube Shorts, TikTok or Instagram Reels, you will have to set this one to 1080 times 1920. This is the 1080p resolution and you can also go up to 4K if you wanted to, which will be 2160 times 3840. And this is the 4K resolution for a vertical video. Now, once you've set the frame, you want to press OK. This message will come up, which will say everything will be changed. You just want to press OK. And there we go. As you can see, we now have a vertical looking video. So what we need to do now is we just need to select the video and we're just going to increase the scale to about 180 in order for this to fit the canvas. You just want to get rid of the borders and the black lines. And that's pretty much it. That is how you crop a video in Premiere Pro. And if you'd like to see how to crop your video into a perfectly even circle for a webcam, 
then you may also like this next tutorial up on the screen. Until next time, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.